All right, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, Shalom, it's your brother Ari up in GMS Tampa Bay 12 and GMS 13 Rulers Shabbat. I want to start this lesson by saying, uh, Baraka Tayyahu, Baraka Tayyahu Shai, 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 Baraka Tayyahu, Baraka Salutations to you brothers out there as well too, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. And um, shalom to any sisters as well too out there that may be listening in meekness, quietness, and humbleness. And again, it's your brother Ariel back at you again with another life lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. And uh, Lord willing, it's edifying unto the elect of Israel. And uh, and uh, man, that's the title of the lesson. It says this is a beautiful time to be a. This is a wonderful time to be a prophet. And Lord willing, you know, you know, the brothers amongst the congregation, you know, all you brothers out there that watch and you go on the highways and byways, that uh, the Lord sees you as a prophet because you're out there doing the work. All right, you're pushing the work, you're, you're, you're doing what the Lord asks you to do. And th this is, man, I just come out and say it, you know. You know, brothers have been saying that the elders have been saying this for, for forever now, for many, many, many years. This has been this. You know, we've been talking about this. Everything you see happening right now in the world, we've been talking about this. We've been telling you that this is going to happen. And now that we see this all happening, and we're in the midst of it happening. It, it really shines light on, on the fact that that the Lord is real. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is a real power. It proves the fact that that He is a living power. All this that you see happening right now, the, everything is just a mess out here. Check it out. The world's a mess. Everything is fucked up out here, man. <laughs> and, we, and, we, and we love it, man. This is a beautiful thing. These are beautiful times. Everything is a complete mess. Everything's in shambles. Whether it's by, you know, Esau's design or whatever the case is, it's not really Esau's design because the Lord is putting the spirit on this man to do what he's doing. So you can't even give uh, any kind of credit to Esau for this. This is all, this is all, um, honor, glory, and praise goes to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh the Lord is putting the spirit on Easter to act this way and to do these things. Whether the coronavirus, the way you're going to call it, <laughs> or the coronavirus is real or fake, you know, made in a laboratory, or if it's just um, a bunch of hoopla, not even real, it's just used as a, a you know, maybe it's just used as something to, to get the pe people upset and scared. Who knows what it is? I don't know. Whatever the case is, the Lord put the spirit on Easter for him to do this. Now everything is in, in shambles. The whole world is in shambles. You got pestilence all over the world. The markets are, are hemorrhaging. Every, the, the, the stock markets are completely bleeding out right now. Everything is being shut down. Disney, Disneyland in California just shut down, closed its doors. This is a big deal. No more NBA games. At first they were going to say NBA games, yeah, you, you know... It's it. There's it, gonna be no fans, but they're still gonna play. No more NBA games. No more N NHL games. So no more hockey, which directly affects Tampa because Tampa is, has a has has a, a prominent hockey team. No more NCAA. All that is, is turned off. It's canceled. And St. Patrick's Day parade in New York. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, um, South by Southwest canceled. I said Disneyland. So I guess Mickey Mouse got the COVID nineteen. He got that. So this this is a big deal. This isn't this isn't normal. This is what we've been waiting for. So let's go into the scriptures. I didn't mean to talk so long, but man, I just had to kind of preface this and give a small monologue because man, this is you know. You know, the water you have by Shimi Yahusha for us being alive in these times and seeing this and being in the, in the right st state of mind and not like the rest of these people right here. The water you have by Shimi Yahusha for that. 
So let's go into the scriptures of, you know, I got a few scriptures I want to bring out. So we'll start in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, of course. We'll start at verse 6. It says, This is Yahweh I speak in the one the world, ignorant of the Christ. Yahweh says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Okay? And this is something that we've been seeing since, since, since you know, since brothers came into the truth. Just the other day, the, um, another U.S. base was bombed and killed a few people. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And that's the point. All these horrible things that you see happening on the earth have to happen. In order for the end to come, all the shit you see happening in the world has to happen. That's just what it is. That's what it comes down to. All the bad things have to happen before good things can happen. You want to see change in the world? Well, guess what? You have to tear down the, the, the world that's there now. You can't build, build on top of something. You have to tear down the, the foundation. You have to build up. Okay? Tear down to build up. Um, let me get this real quick. This is in the book of um, Isaiah chapter 12 verse 2 and 3 it says behold Yahweh the most high is my salvation I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my song he also is become my salvation therefore with joy shall I draw water out of the wells of salvation so the most high is our salvation so it says be not afraid so you brothers out there that see everything happening in the world, the last emotion that should be going through your mind is, is, is fear of, of it affecting you. And we bring it out all the time in the book of Psalm, Psalm, the, Psalm the 91st Psalm. It tells you, don't worry about everything you see happen. You're going to see it, but it's not going to touch you. If, if you believe yourself to be a man of the Lord and you truly are a man of the Lord, in the eyes of the Lord, then you have nothing to worry about. Just accept the hell and it's for what it is and, and give praise to the Lord for bringing it onto the world. People are going to have to suffer. People are going to have to die. Stores are going to have to close. This is all prophecy. There ain't no reason for you to be scared about it if you if, if you are doing the work of the Lord. What are you scared about? This is all ma made for the wicked. This, is, this isn't for you. If you're doing the work of the Lord, you're not a wicked person. If you're doing the work of the Lord in truth and sincerity, that is. Because you got a lot of false prophets out here. But if you're truly doing the work of the Lord, you believe in, in the Bible and you and you and you're you're hasting the day of the Lord, then you have nothing to worry about. Because this is all leading up to the great and dreadful day of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All this shit you see happening on the earth right now is leading up to that day. So this has to happen before we can be saved. Before salvation. Back into the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24 it, it, um, it says uh, where was I Matthew 24 and something rather um, I'll read 6 again and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet so, these, so again be not troubled don't let these wars trouble you don't let these don't let the pestilence and the diseases trouble you. Don't let the the stock market crash trouble you. Not you. Definitely not you. Let it trouble everybody else, but not you. You are strong as a as a as a rock, as a stone. All right. You stand tall as a tree. All right. Don't let any of this stuff waver you. you let your faith waver in any bit, to the left or to the right. You have to stand firm. You got the spirit of the Lord on you. What are you, what are you talking about, you scared? The only, thing, the only fear that you should have is, is the fear of what Yahweh Hashem and will do to you if you get weak. That's it. We, ain't, we only fear the Lord. We don't fear any of the shit that happens out here. We want the shit to happen out here. We need it to happen in order for us to get to the next level. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places and we see we've been seeing these things happen that's why you see these scriptures come out a lot we've been talking about the famines starting with venezuela that's jacob's trouble those jakes down there 
And you know that that's coming over here because you know hyperinflation is coming real soon. With everything happening in the world right now, with the way the stocks are crumbling, hyperinflation is going to come soon. That's why you see them buying out all the all the toilet paper. I don't know why toilet paper is such a big commodity, like if that's the cure of the coronavirus. But nonetheless, everyday essential items are selling out. And it's going to be supply and demand soon. So if there's no supply and the demand is higher than the supply, then guess what? It's going to go up. All right, basic economics. And that's going to lead to famine right here in America. So we see, we see famines. We see earthquakes. All right, we just seen the huge earthquakes that happened in the Caribbean. Earthquakes have been happening all over the world for a while now. That is showing the times that we're in. And what else does it say? Pestilences in diverse places. Earthquakes, pestilences in diverse places. You got a huge pestilence going on right now. That's the main. That's the main news right now. And where are these other prophets at? Where? What? No one's talking about it. The only ones talking about it, in, in prophetic sense. Is the Great Millstone. That's the only ones you see talking about it. You see all these things happening out there. But you only see you, you only see the prophet, true prophets of the Lord. Shalom, bro. Yahbashim and Shabrakata. I see you, bro. The only ones you see talking about it are the true prophets of Yahbashim and Yahushai. The warning is out, brothers. Sisters, everybody, the warning is out. You can't say you didn't know that that this was all gonna happen, that this caught you by surprise. There's no way. With all these videos up. You got to be kidding me! You you didn't you didn't know that this was gonna happen. We told you, we told you ten years ago that this was gonna happen. You didn't believe us. You made fun of us. It says, uh, "For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows." All right, so these are the beginning of sorrows. And, this, and like the brother Ash was saying yesterday when we did the live stream, this isn't even the beginning no more. You can't even say that this is the beginning of sorrows. These things have been happening. So we're in the midst of the sorrows. The beginning has come already. We're not in the beginning anymore. We are now in the midst of it all. And it's going to get a lot worse. Again, the, the markets are hemorrhaging money. And wait till you see, wait till you see what's gonna happen in, in these little towns. Wait till you see what's gonna happen in these little towns. Shalom, brother, I see you, Shalom. These little towns because, oh, oh you, you can't, in these cities and stuff, because what what used to bring big revenue to these cities? Sports events, all right, uh, um, you know, concerts. Well, if the concerts and the sports events are all done away with, a lot of these cities are gonna, they're gonna suffer financially. It, it, it's, it's gonna lead to job loss. Hey, we told you that this was gonna happen, brothers. I've been telling you all this was gonna happen. So hey, now that it's happening, we sitting back. And now it's time for us to get get more busy. We gotta get busy and, and 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 bring the warning out even more. For those out there who are just now who are looking for the answers, because there are now people who are now just looking for answers because they see everything happening right now. So we got to give them the answers until the Lord says no more. Still work to be done. There's still prophecies that need to come to pass before we out of here. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And we've been seeing signs of that. And it's only going to get worse. Moving on. Verse 10. And then shall many be offended and hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And you're gonna, and we've seen the false prophets. You know, and we just seen. I don't know what camps they are. It's some, you know, these 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 um, um minstrel show Israelites coming out there with the um, uh, what is it? Uh, um, Hebrew Hebrew awards. Come on, man. This ain't the time for that bullshit. 2020 Hebrew Israelite awards. It's not the time for that. Why y'all playing with this knowledge, man? Y'all play games too much, man. Here it is. We out here. We giving our lives for this, and you just fucking it, up, fucking it all up. 
The Lord's going to kill you people. You're playing with it. The, Lord's, the Lord ain't dealing with that kind of spirit. Hebrew Israelite awards. It's not funny. None of that shit ain't funny, man. Y'all think it's cute and funny. May the Lord bring pain to you if you, if you go to those kind of events and awards. This is not, this isn't a, a gimmick that we, this is real life. This ain't dress up, okay? We playing dress up. Are we just go hanging out with the fellas? No, this ain't, no, this ain't what this is. If you take, if, if you're taking this the wrong way, you're taking it as something that's just entertainment, the Lord's going to destroy you. He may, not just, he may not destroy you first. He may destroy your loved ones first. And destroy you and save your ass for the, for the last for the last trump. For the end. Think we playing around. This ain't no game. The Lord, the Lord is... See what the Lord is doing out here? And you playing games with it? Israelite awards? You gotta be kidding me, yo. I, 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 I thought y'all... I, I thought that they weren't gonna be doing that shit, man. I thought that was it. They really doing that shit, bro. I can't believe that shit. Um, I see it got scripture here. Um, Brother Kwam from camp, he put uh, Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 28. Therefore, therefore say unto them, Thus say of the Lord Yahweh, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, say of the Lord. So, hey, it's getting to a point where prophecy is going to come to pass now. No more. No more waiting. No more. Oh man, can't wait. Hey, is the wait is over? The Lord is working, and if you're not in this truth, you better get in it while the door is still cracked open. Otherwise, you know, ain't nothing I can say to you. Ain't nothing my brothers can say to you. You, it's all been said. Everything has been said that needed to be said, and you still fucking off. I don't know what to tell cats like that. I can't tell no, nobody like that. And this is all thus saith the Lord. We read now. It says, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. So you got many people that are going to get affected by that, by all that um, glitz and glamour. Hebrew is a letter word. Twenty dollars. Oh, going? Yeah, y'all going? Yeah. All right. I got my ticket. You got your? Eh, hell out of here with that. People are dying out here in the world. You fucking off? People are dying. People are losing their lives. Through prophecy and you and you're playing games and as we're not saying that you can't have a good time and have you know and, and smile a little it's okay to do that but as the scriptures say you gotta you gotta measure the times that we're in and you're not doing that you're not doing that y'all not prophecies there's no edification coming out of any of y'all videos and the Lord's gonna do away with all that soon he said what he had to say he's not he's, hey the, the prophecies are going to start coming. Hey, they're coming. They ain't start. They already started coming. So what, what what are you going to say when the Lord when the Lord comes knocking on your door? Sorry? You ain't going to cut it, dog. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And hey, you, that's why you're starting to see the nigga woman, you know, fighting over toilet paper in, in, in Walmart. Hey. Beating each other up, fighting, going, coming to blows because of toilet paper. You took all the toilet paper. You should have left some for me. Nah, you was too slow. <laughs> fighting, fighting. And we're not. I'm not just saying that it actually happened the other day. That, that's something that happened. And it's gonna get worse. All right, people's lives are gonna be taken because of toilet paper. People's lives are gonna be taken because uh, people's lives are gonna be turned upside down because of tampons. Think it's funny. Think it's a game. We're telling you that this is all prophecy. We're telling you that this is going to happen. If your spirit ain't right, you're going to get caught up in that shit. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So if you can go get through all this with this righteous spirit on you, without adhering to the temptation, then you're going to be saved. You're, gonna, you're not going to be taken by all that madness that the Lord is bringing to the world right now. You're going to be good. While the rest of the world is going to die. And, and brothers have been waiting to see this. We've been, we've been, you know, you know, through the spirit, you know, since the olden days, since the, since the ancient world. We've been waiting for this day. We've been waiting for these days. 
and the Lord is finally starting to bring it to fruition. He's showing you the end of Babylon. This is it. Our enemies being taken down, and you're gonna and you have a front row seats, right, right, you know, on the front, right there on the court. In book of Luke, chapter ten, verse twenty-three and twenty-four. And he turned on our the eyes which see the things that ye see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Guess what? We see them and we hear them, and boy are we excited. Yeah, a little bell flies on our stomach because we understand that this is the end, but hey. These things have to happen as we read earlier. These things got to go down like this. It has to be this way. It has to be, it has to hurt. It has to be crazy. You know, but guess what? This is something that we want. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, we want death and destruction to come upon the earth, but we're not the ones doing it. But since it's being done, this is a good thing because the more that it happens, the closer we get to the kingdom of heaven. The scriptures just read it. We just read through the scriptures earlier. So this is a good thing. That's don't be troubled. Don't be afraid. Just, just let it happen. All right? And you stay in the right spirit. If you're not in the right spirit, then yeah, you're going to get caught. But if you're in the correct spirit, you're doing what the Lord asks you to do, then you really have nothing to worry about. That's why we, you know, that's why the scripture says that many prophets and kings have desired to see these things. Guess what? We're seeing them now. Today. All right. March 12th, uh, 2020 year of prophecy. And it's called the year of prophecy. It's not just a name that the. Come on, bro. Come up. You know? That's why, it's, you know, that's why you, you see the brothers are smiling. Brothers are, you know. Man, this is good, man. This is good stuff. No more NBA, no more NHL, no more Disneyland, no more, no more, no more nothing, no more concerts. There was another concert that was in, um, that was in Miami that got canceled because of this shit. How beautiful is this, brothers? We actually alive to see this. Um, hold on. Uh, looking for something. I found something else though that kind of I read this this is our uh, first Corinthians chapter 9 verse first Corinthians chapter 9 verse 25 going into because you we was just talking about the guys out there and doing the Hebrew Israelite wars and all this shit you know which is basically steering people away from the truth let me just read this real quick first Corinthians 9 and 25 and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things ow they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. You hear that? So you see these people out here that claim Israel, Yasharala, you know, all praise Yah, or whatever the case is, and they and they wearing all the garments and they, they got the look and everything. Well guess what? They're doing they're doing all that to obtain a corruptible crown. They just want to be seen by men. They want that look. But what we do when we you see what we're doing we're not doing it for an incorruptible crown just to be seen no we're doing it for the immortality we're doing this to please the lord the kingdom of heaven an incorruptible crown you hear um matter of fact so let's go into uh let's go into this in the second Ezra chapter two this is the crown we looking for bros first Ezra, second Ezra's. Chapter 2, verse uh, 42. And I, Ezra, saw, it says, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. This is a vision. All right. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Okay, read on. So I asked the angel and said, "Sir, what are these?" And he answered me and said, and he answered and said unto me, "These are they that of the Most High Yahweh Shai. 
now are they crowned and receive palms then i said unto the angel what young person is he is is that is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands so he answered and said unto me it is the son of the most high that's yahweh whom they have co confessed in the world they be then began i greatly to commend them and st that stood stiffly for the name of the lord the ones that stood stiffly for the name of the Lord are here on the earth today, brothers. They're the true prophets of the Lord. The crown we're looking for is the crown that's going to be placed upon our heads directly from Yahweh Shai. That's what we want. But we ain't not going to, we're not going to be worthy of that if we're out there playing games in the world. The scriptures say to use the world without abusing it. So yes, you use the world so you don't go crazy out here. But if you start abusing the ways of the world, guess what's going to end up happening to you? You're going to have, you're going to, you're going to gain your crown, but it's going to be a corruptible crown. As the scriptures say, hey, you've received your constellation. You ain't getting the kingdom of heaven like that. You, you already received it. You received it on this side. The hell more we need to give you. You don't deserve it. You wasn't doing anything for the Lord when you had liberty. So why, why, no, no. That's what the Lord's going to say, no. I don't know who you are. get from around me. That's the crown we're looking for, brothers. Not no, not no corruptible crown which can can get, can be burned up in a fire or can be stolen. No, the crown that we're gonna get cannot be stolen, cannot be damaged. Let's get a couple more. We'll end this. I don't know how long it's been. I can't see. Um, I'm going to the book of Ephesians real quick. Uh, Ephesians. Chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepeth, ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. You hear that? We are to move in this world circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise men. We see what's going on out here. We see what we need to align ourselves with and we see what we need to remove ourselves from. Don't move foolishly, move with wisdom, with prudence. Otherwise, you're done. The mum. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. So we understand that we are in the evil time right now. The times that we're living in is, is, bring, is, is doom and gloom death and destruction that's all I gotta say about that let me get one more scripture and we'll end it uh, book of, of Romans uh, Romans or other way Romans chapter 11, 13 We'll end it with this. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Knowing that... I'm uh, sorry. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is your salvation nearer than we believe. This is the time to wake your ass up. Don't align yourself with wickedness. Align yourself with the righteousness. You see what's going on out here. Align yourself with with the righteous men with the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha Shalom Ah Yahweh Bashim Yahusha Brakata align yourself with the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha study accept it and do the work and if you're not a prophet then believe believe change your ways change your life otherwise all the things you see going on out here that's plaguing the world is going to come to your doorstep and when it comes to your doorstep, what are you going to say? You're going to say you didn't know? Because that's a lie. You knew. You, you, you saw the videos. What are you going to say? Sorry? It's too late for that. You've been warned. You knew what to do when you, you made a conscious decision in your mind not to do it. That's how you die. So we read the scriptures. There's plenty of scriptures that, that came out of this video here. You know, yep. I, I, oh, second edges, uh, eight. Let me let me get it, brother. 
read plenty of scriptures today and you know plenty there's there's hundreds if not you know over a thousand brothers out there doing edifying videos plenty 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 of videos out there oh, man I can't I can't see what it was I might not be able to get it brother hold on yeah I don't I can't get it I can't go back and see um one second though and it's beautiful though you know why because you know the Lord is the Lord is is doing that on purpose He's, that's why you see brothers channels getting shut down that's why you see you, you 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 get flags on your channel. That's why when you, when you make a video about the coronavirus, you put it up. Um, Esau is going to superimpose uh, the Wikipedia page for the coronavirus. To let you know. Uh, don't worry about what this man saying in this video. This is the truth right here. This is all you need to know about the coronavirus. You know. It's so it's so there's so much. Yeah, con second answer th um, nine and seven. All right. Uh, you know, we'll get it real quick because that's a beautiful one. That's a beautiful one. I might have quoted it, but I didn't read it. Second, <coughs> Second Ezra is nine and seven, all all the way on down too. And every one that shall that shall be, excuse me. And every one that shall be saved shall be able to be should be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Right. So the way you're gonna get out of here is by belief in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, whether you're a prophet or not. If you're not a prophet, you may still get a prophet's reward if you believe. And the way you show, show you believe is by what? Really doing his works. So his works go beyond just going on the highways and byways. His works go in, in your everyday life. Yeah. You, you got to stop eating poor. You got to stop. You got to stop being a nigga. A nigga. Okay. Follow the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. Because if I read on down after verse seven, it gets worse. If you decide not to do these things, you're gonna die a, a painful death. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Um, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at GMS, Great Millstone, who rule and teach well. Salutations to you brothers out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. And may the Lord continue to bless you brothers your families as we as we get closer and closer to the end days if you get closer and closer to the last day the, the dark and gloomy day and yahweh bashimi ashai um um uh shalat barakim wakasadium uh lakal akim um uh shal bakarium with that i say shalom to the elect peace